going to be a, a, the right kind of you know if i could dig it and handle it and w had soul you know but this time he was armed with a stack of papers like this and sort of and sort of sat and sat like this it was much more you know a small survey on the south coast i remember his exact words a small survey on the south coast has been carried out and we have established the fact that if a ship and, and this was it you know this was the pitch a ship was parked off the coast in the sea three miles outside with a transmitter on us you know anybody that would be interested in that you think you know put maybe put a few bob into it and so on <laughs> i said yes i certainly can think of old daddy and uh and, and 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 you know we went from here by now i suppose we'd met in the kenya at uh two o'clock and it was now five o'clock or whatever and um I had the MG, I had an MGB. We, we, we didn't pause. We, we, he grabbed the papers, we got in the car, the three of us, and we went straight to Hazelmere, which is where my father lived. And, uh, I mean, my father just simply just went for it right away. And I th he said he had a few friends. He'd see if... He had a few friends, he would see if they fancied a, a punt, you know, a flutter. It was a, it was a flutter for a few people who he knew. The most main person, apart from my father, was Jocelyn Stevens. I think he was the next biggest of these vaguely paradoxically establishment sort of figures who, in fact, weren't, in some strange way, weren't really establishment figures, you know, who had sort of something that they wanted to change. So I think Jocelyn certainly did, you know. There was a sort of schoolboy part of Jocelyn, I think, that saw it in a kind of boy's own level. Chris Moore had been in the Merchant Navy for about half an hour at one point. He was a purser on a, <laughs> a cruise liner. And so he became in charge of everything to do with nautical matters and had to go to Copenhagen or somewhere with about 10,000 quid in a suitcase and buy a ship.
back in time on the sounds of the nation, it's the Caroline Flashback. Flashback. 